please subscribe Sporta TV for more information, MotoGP and Formula 1 2023. The 2023 MotoGP World Championship wasn't without its moments of controversy, particularly in the closing stages of an intense eight GPs in 10 weeks that completed the season. While racing incidents are part of the game, the penultimate Qatar round saw two examples of riders losing their temper in a practice session. The first saw Paul Espargaro and Marco Bezzecchi cut each other up after the flag before Bezzecchi bumped Espargaro's back wheel six times in the practice start zone. A day later, it was Alex Espargaro making the headlines when he lashed out and slapped Franco Morbidelli's helmet after the pair had blocked past each other several times and run off track, for which the Aprilia rider received a 10,000 euro fine and sixth place grid penalty. If you have more and more races in the championship, you have more chances to see these kinds of situations, said Marc Marquez, no stranger to on-track controversy during his career. But in the end, if you are not involved in it yourself, these kind of things are good for the championship. Because it creates the social media interest. It's like this now. But it's also true that we need to take care for the image of the sport. Marquez had previously taken a similar view of the repeated TV replays in the immediate aftermath of Francesco Bagnaia's scary lap one accident in Catalonia. For the riders, it's very difficult to see that crash many, many times, especially when you need to go out again. But Peko was good and Dorna had the information from the ambulance that he was good, Marquez said. It's part of the show. Maybe it's not necessary to show it many, many times. But it's not my decision. In my case, I turned off the TV and was fully concentrated on my job. But then it's true that, for example, if you check the views on the internet from a crash compared to a race victory, it's more views for the crash than the victory. So in the end, if people want to see that, the guys who produce the GTV images must show it. But for the writers, it's very difficult to watch. Joan Mir had a nightmare debut season as a Honda rider. The 2020 MotoGP champion's best result last year was fifth in India, but it was a period defined by crashes, injuries and absences. He missed four Grands Prix due to two separate injuries and retired early ten times. Mir is arguably now Honda's brightest asset, after losing Marc Marquez, but team boss Alberto Puig was asked if he can cling on to Mir long-term if the bike does not improve. What Honda is thinking about now is improving the bike, Puig answered Marca. We consider that if the bike improves, any rider we have will be able to develop their potential and Joan Mir is a rider who is a two-time world champion, which makes him a rider who could be fighting for front positions. We are no longer thinking about renewing riders before starting the season. We are thinking about improving the bike, it is the starting point of everything. Honda find themselves at their lowest ebb in the wake of Marquez's exit, and after a year blighted by a bike which caused their riders to dangerously crash frequently. But Luca Marini has come in to replace Marquez, behind-the-scenes changes have been made, and the concessions rule will give Honda hope that they can develop swiftly. Puig was asked if this crisis will force a change of mentality, and he replied, One thing that is undeniable is that Honda is Honda, it is the largest motorcycle manufacturer, it sells more than 25 million motorcycles a year. I think the second manufacturer sells six or seven. Honda is Honda, point number one. And point number two, in MotoGP, now, we must recognize that the European manufacturers have taken a very important step with very aggressive policies at the level of technical development, hiring of technicians, they go to the limit of everything possible and everything. For serving us? To understand that you have to change the way you do things a little and that's where we are. We are working in a different way, with a different restructuring, but always understanding that, in the end, Honda is Honda. On the other hand, only title contender Jorge Martin delivered a bigger increase in points during the second half of the 2023 MotoGP season than Fabio Di Antonio. While Martin scored 50 points more over the final 10 rounds than over the opening 10 events, despite the cancellation of the Phillip Island sprint, Di Antonio was hot on his heels with plus 49 points. Without the tire pressure penalty at the Valencia finale demoting him from second to fourth, Dig Gia would have been credited with another seven points. The Grazzini riders' epic turnaround, which included a debut GP podium in Phillip Island, then a sprint podium and dream victory in Qatar, carried the Italian from 16th to 12th in the final World Championship standings.
Dejan Antonio, 114 points, was notably among only six riders to score more than 100 points during the second half of the season, after Martin, 239, world champion Francesco Bagnaia, 216, Marco Bezzecchi, 146, Brad Binder, 133, and Maverick Vinales, 118. MotoGP is about hard work and trying to make every little part of the bike and your riding style as much perfect as possible, explained Dejan Antonio who had finished the opening 10 rounds with a best race result of just 8th place. You are fighting against the best of the best, riders. You are also against the best teams in the world. So, you really have to be perfect in all areas. But you have to start somewhere. So it takes time. For many reasons, my 2022 rookie season was a zero year for me. So, in 2023, I started from completely a blank page. Dejan Antonio credited the arrival of Joan Mir's ex-world championship winning Suzuki crew chief Frankie Carcati, who joined forces with the Italian at the start of 2023, for plotting his path to the front. The arrival of Frankie helped me a lot to understand how to ride this bike, Dejan Antonio said. We started to fix every little thing, step by step, every little detail. It takes time. You cannot come from being last to making podiums in two races. So we started to work throughout the season. If you see my growth, we started to make a little progress during all the championship. You have to trust the process. Sometimes I was expecting things to happen earlier and it was not coming. Sometimes I didn't expect it and it was coming. So, you have to trust this process. Step by step, we arrived at an amazing level. The 25-year-old delivered his second-half flourish despite the added pressure of knowing he had lost his MotoGP seat to Marc Marquez for 2024, who will work with Carcati this season. After spending six rounds with his future hanging in the balance, Dejan Antonio was finally confirmed at the VR46 Ducati team after the Valencia finale. Diggio will work with ex-Valentino Rossi and Luca Marini crew chief David Munoz this season. Riprendendo il tuo cellulare non si sente bene l'applauso. Eh, non parlo sempre.